first command with the promise to honor our father and mother now notice it says honor not obey honor it doesn't matter whether you live with them whether you already have your own family you moved out you have your own children you might be even having your great uh, grandchildren already it's speaking about honor okay because there's something special about that relationship God has invested in that if we invest and cultivate that relationship we can reap physical and spiritual blessing let's look at Isa and uh, Isaac Jacob and Isa now we're going to take a reading from Genesis 27 4 it says this is uh, Isaac says to Isa now prepare me the kind of tasty food that I like and bring it to me to eat so that I may give you my blessing before I die. Did you hear what I read? Prepare me the kind of a tasty food that I like and bring it to me to eat. Isaac says to Isa, so that I may give you <clears throat> my blessing before I die. Investing into strategic relationship. Talking about parents. I want you to notice here a principle that Isaac is asking as a father of his son for his son to invest, to bring pleasure, to bring happiness and joy to bring satisfaction comfort in a form of food to uh, to uh, from isaac so that he would bless him why wouldn't father just say hey come here i'm gonna pray and bless you because there's something that we have to listen carefully listen very very carefully there's something we have to understand about the principle of a blessing in the spiritual world. It's not the words that have been that is pronounced over you, but it's the intention and the heart or feelings that are attached to those words that have power or weight to them. Listen to me again. It's not the words that are pronounced over your life, but it's the intention and the heart or feelings that are attached to those words that have weight or power behind them. Back in those days, they understood these principles. They understood the principle of blessing of the firstborn. And they understood the fact that you don't just throw your words out on the wind but those words have to come from the heart. There has to be feelings attached to it. It has to come from within, not just from the head. Oftentimes we just live our life, disrespect our parents, we don't honor our parents. We don't bring them joy. We don't bring life to them. We are no benefit to them, we disregard them. When they ask for help, we're, we're, not, able there to, we're not able to help. And then when it comes the time for our wedding and we want our parents' blessing, of course parents that love their children will bless them. But I want to tell you something. Their words will mean very little, very little on your wedding day when they're going to pray a blessing over you. Unless it comes from the depth of the heart that is satisfied and open to you with feelings attached then those words will have great great impact over your life did you hear what i said i'll give an example to, for you to understand this even better um, for the last 15 years dealing with um, dealing with people and helping people in the area of deliverance um, this principle became more and more um, alive to me the, in, in what sense? 
in the sense that in the sense that there are people that come and um, that would say something like, "Oh, I wish I, oh, I wish I just gonna die." They say it joke, jokingly. They say it lightly, and they live their life just fine, and and um, and seems like there's no repercussions. And there's another person that maybe has been hurt, that maybe has been uh, sad, and 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 when they said the same words, same very same words, I wish I died, but with the deep understanding with the deep emotion with the deep feelings attached to it it immediately opened the door to, for spirit of death to torment them and try to kill them i've seen that over and over and over again there are people that say just joking oh i'm stupid listen you shouldn't say anything negative against yourself because bible says power of life and death is in the tongue sometimes people are joking ah oh, just stupid me okay but there are people where they get into certain situations, they get embarrassed because maybe they said something wrong or did something wrong. And then all of a sudden, they with this, with, with, with this deep emotion, this feeling, they say, oh man, I'm so stupid. And literally, they, that opens a door to demonic realm to operate in their life and make them confused, make them focused, make them forget things. Um... Uh, make you miss details and all that stuff and they literally begin to just act dumb and stupid because that spirit was given right by their words and deep emotions attached to it i hope you guys are understanding what i'm saying here if you understand drop one so isaac is asking isa for his favorite soup so that his soul will be satisfied, so that when he is pronouncing blessing, it comes out of deep satisfaction, feeling of, 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 of love, of content, and those words carry weight. Are you with me? Honor your parents. Now, there are parents that are immature, there are parents that are acting like a, uh, they're adults and older than us, but they act like children, have a lot of emotional insecurities, this and that. We have to learn to have proper balances and boundaries. Not everybody is blessed with a healthy relationship with their parents. Not everybody is blessed with parents that are mature and know their boundaries. Nonetheless, even if they are misbehaving, we still can find a way to honor them and make him not feel disrespected. And even if they're wounded and hurt and they perceive everything you do as a disrespect and you're really trying your best before God, remember this principle is spiritual. God sees it and you will reap what you sow. 